It's wonderful to see the community to get together, all ages, children, older people, and participate in such a wholesome, beautiful event on such a beautiful day. Love the, the concept of the earth offering its bounty and, and being blessed by that. It can only get better from here, and it's already amazing. It is with such gratitude that we celebrate the bounty of the San Luis Valley Harvest today. All its wonderful farmers and ranchers who are our heroes and sheroes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Judy Burrell and Danny Ladoni, and we are at a wonderful celebration. It is the third annual Harvest Soiree for the Healthy Living Park and the Local Food Coalition. Okay, we're going to be going around talking to people about why they're here, what do they think about what's happening here, and just in general, because everybody seems to be having a wonderful time. I think this activity is amazing. I think it's great for the community. I'll be living just across the street, and I couldn't be more happier to have this here. All of this is coming from local suppliers, local food producers, and it's the change that we need to see in the world. Plus, we got local live music happening. We're going to play as uh, Sweet Radish here in a little bit, too, and do a little uh, music jamboree up there, so it should be good. Yeah. New Mexico ain't bad, Lord. People there, they treat you kind. Colorado ain't bad, Lord. People there, they treat you kind. So the amazing thing about this event is that all the food is sourced from San Luis Valley, as close as right here from the Guatemalan Gardens all the way to um, the six counties of the San Luis Valley's farms and ranches. Let me show you. We have uh, KW Farms uh, grass-finished beef making the meatballs. They, they, uh, everything that's in them was developed right here and all the values added in this community. The hay we brought in from neighbor's pasture, we run from Bill Britton. They were finished a half a mile from right here, uh -huh. and uh, they're processed down at Mel Hermio's local place. You know, everything about it adds value here locally. That is how you create a local food economy. I just love to see that there's so much community connection here and all the local foods that are available. And uh, there, everyone has just been so warm and welcoming. Community. I look around and I think this is so fabulous to see people enjoying themselves and a beautiful day. Good food, um, beverages, both alcohol and non-alcoholic. Um, and people are just having a great time. That beautiful field of corn over there inspires me every time I look at it. It's difficult to grow corn in the San Luis Valley and the Guatemalan community has done a beautiful job at that. It's just an honor to be here. And now Mark. So this is my first soiree and I'm really impressed. It's fantastic. I visited the Healthy Living Park a few times, um, but also not very recently and it's just so amazing to see all the, the growth and everything. It's so neat to see so many people from the community here and what a dynamic event this is to have the music, all the food, all, and, and everything so local and such a celebration of the community is really, really cool. We're selling food from local farmers by local vendors with local music. And I just really love the idea of spending money in our community and keeping the money going around and around here. Our club decided to sign up for ASU Care State so that way we can um, go out into our community and help out because as a group I uh, want to get our names out there and want to help the community that you know we live in. Um, I like the different music. I feel like it brings like different cultures together. It's a great experience. It's great to reach out to the community of course and to be a part of something that's off campus and you know we get to meet people make connections and it's a really Wonderful. great experience. We are going to be incubating farmers here who want to do market production. Well, they'll be able to access maybe quarter half acre farm plots and learn how to grow food, have access to land and then hopefully move on to a bigger scenario if they find that they're a good fit for that kind of work. I see 
see this event maybe changing and morphing into more of a community festival and being less expensive, but then people being able to purchase different food from different vendors, having local artists, having uh, local music, and just really, and then having the farmer's market out here for that event during the morning. So we want to have like a local day. Yeah.